The greatest asset to a ministry are not the people that are too good to serve, but the people who are seeking to serve. The greatest asset to, to this congregation or to any ministry are not the people who feel like they're too good to serve, but the people who are seeking to serve. The people who walk in the door and say, put my hands to work. You know how, you know, I, 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 I talked just a little bit about in the State of Union address, like, what can we do to get our lay leaders more connected? Like, why do we have still so many people who are under this teaching, <clears throat> unfortunately they don't come on Wednesday, so they're not getting the in-depth study, but they're still getting good work on Sunday, yet and still nothing is connecting them to want to do the service that we do. We shouldn't have more people sitting in a pew on Sunday than we do out feeding the hungry. Even if people skip church, there should be a connection to service. Because service is not about ESPA as it is about your relationship with your Savior. It's about knowing who he is to you and what you've been called and commissioned to do. People, you know, I would use this as a rule of thumb because I have so many friends uh, who, do, who, who almost say to me regularly, oh, I'm just so over church. I just thought, oh, that's the reason. when they see something that happens. Or see somebody's leader that has fallen and is in public life or something like that. That's the reason why I stopped going to church. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that I normally ask them is, well, we're not going to talk about church, but how are you serving? Because if you're still trying to figure out the whole, I can't find me a good church, I can't find me a pastor at church, even if that's your story, I got church hurt, I've been hurt by the church, what does, what does that have to do with your service? And the moment they tell me they're not serving either, girl, bye. Boy, bye. Because you, you, you haven't truly fallen in love with the Savior if you, can't, if you don't know how to serve. 